Um, this is a building I invented. It's a skyscraper. It's about religion, so you basically go there and you practice your religion. You learn about different religions, and it's awesome. And so this is a map of the basic floor one's layout. See, it says floor one. There's a, the museum. This is the entrance to the museum. This is the lobby. This is the info desk. Also known as the lobby. <laughs> and this is the entrance to the religious center, which is most of the floors besides floor one, because there's a lot of different religions. This is the cafe. So say I wanted to get breakfast. Say I wanted to get lunch, so I go in here, go in here, and I go like this. Then if I wanted to go into the museum, I go like this, I go like this, and I go like that. And if I wanted the museum and the God Bothers Bothering Station are kind of similar, except with the God Bothers Bothering Station, People are the only person giving you information. And in the museum, all different kinds of sources are giving you information. So in the Godfather's bothering station, they're just sitting there waiting for people to come in so that they can bother them? Yes. Okay. And this is the info desk. If you have anything to tell them, you go to the info desk. Do you think people are going to willingly go into the Godfather's bothering station? Yeah. Like, who wants to be bothered? <laughs> well, the Godbrothers might have some extra information because they're technically, like, part of that specific information. So they're, like, the extreme experts. Okay. And also, some people just, like, want to sit there and be bothered. Okay. Some people might actually enjoy that. Um, this is the... Layout of the Godfather's Bothering Station. This is the family friendly Godfather's area. Wait, some of these Godfather's are not family friendly? Well, it's like for kids because kids have a high tendency to be bored. So they have puppets or something to keep the kids interested. Or like silly facts or like cute stories, stuff like that. Um, this is the one-on-one -on -one Godfathers. This is Godfathers mix of everything, so people will just be, lots of people will just be trying to get your attention over here. This may be slightly chaotic. This is one-on-one, -on -one, so you, like, you, there's one, like, there's one person over here. There's, like, a group of tables. There's somebody who will bother you intensely. Yes. Okay. And this is... The museum! There's computers for searching on the web of religion. There's books on religion. There's movies with religious stories. And there's musical instruments used for, for talking about religion. There's artifacts. There's babies' fun facts, which is like religious activities for babies. Oh my god. Religious activities for kids religious activities for adults and religious activities for teens. This is more this is like Godfathers except slightly less intense. Experts info. And they're not trying to make you believe that religion, just trying to just trying to give you information. This is the cafe slash gift shop. Here's the gift shop. It's also kind of like a gift shelf. It's very tiny. These there are 29, um, there are 29 tables. Mm. This is where you, like, get your food. This is, like, if you want a big, big amount of people to go there. This is, like, for parties. Okay. This is the entrance. This is floors two to four. They all look pretty much the same. There's some info desks. See, What's info. What's going on in all these rooms? Info. Is there room for every religion? Yeah. So basically, you know, I'll get to that later. Because okay. it talks about it later. This is rooms five to seven. See here, 
there's only one info desk, and it's a help desk. Okay. It's so much more orderly than the previous four. Yeah. Why is that? Because that's, like, they might want to be more orderly and secure. This so one, is... one floor is designed to make you feel chaotic and, and anxious, and the and... other floor makes you feel calm and relaxed. No, one floor is designed for, like, to be, like, because one floor, you want to put as many things in there as possible because it's like people will want to learn a lot of stuff. The other floor is kind of like private. And this is the light and control center for the top of the building. It's kind of at the top. Here's the controls. Here's the staff only area because like they don't want people just walking into the controls and messing with it. And then this is the info, so you can ask, so you can request them to show stuff up here. This is a black screen because there's no pictures on it right now. Those are all the light bulbs. There's a billion of them. This is a warning. Floors two to four may have visitors watching people practice their religion. If religion requires privacy to be practiced, alert front desk when registering. Front desk was on the first page. Front desk. Okay. If starting a cult, alert front desk. Dun, 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 front desk. Uh, wait, that's the following questions must be answered when registering from a room. One. Is your religion private? That's in, that's so that if it's private, they can put you on the higher up floors and they won't accidentally put you in the floors where people might go in. Two, is your religion a cult? And what if it is? If it is, then you tell them yes. And they just want to know that. Three, is your religion a branch of another religion? Because then it might be like, they just want to know that for safety. And four, may we put info on your religion in the museum? They ask you this because if you're seriously private, you might not want people learning that much about your religion. And so they don't want to just go ahead and put stuff in the museum. Well, if you want to keep your religion private, why would you even bring it up to these people? Why would you just keep it a secret? Well, it's like so mass quantities of people can practice there. That's also. Then it's not going to be a secret. No, if you just like want to, no, not the religion itself being secret. The like what you're doing, like some of the stuff you're doing, if you don't want people to like, because some people like keeping their religion private, and some religions have like special rules like, oh, you can't do this, or oh, if you do this, then this will happen, and that's bad, so you can't do this, so they might not watch you do it, and sometimes they have like things in it that they don't want. Just because it, a religion has secret things doesn't mean it's a secret religion. Well, rules. wait a minute. They can't keep this rule secret, because if you don't know what the rules are, then how do you stop yourself from breaking them? You know what the rules are if you're in the religion. So people outside of the religion don't know what the rules of that religion are. And the people who are in yeah, the religion... Yeah, that sometimes happens. Like, there was this, um, there was this, na these Native American cool, American cool masks, and we were going to make some. But then we found out that we weren't allowed to make them because that was against the because the religion wouldn't want that. Right, they were sacred to the Yeah, so they're like, group. things like that. Okay. Because you want to be considerate and respect the religion. And okay. not do Rules, there are only two of them. Number one, when something needs resolving, tell the... Dun, 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 Info desk! Number two, Always help each other, even if your religions hate each other. Because okay. some religions are like rivals. Just it's basically saying, if your rival religion is in there, don't completely obliterate them, please. They are still humans. Don't blow them up. Don't chop their hands or heads off. Yep. Alert front. Alert. Dun 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 dun. dun. Info desk. 
if you are registering a room, you want to change your room, room or floor, you no longer want to practice your religion in the building, you are splitting it into two different religions, you want to see the museum or people practicing a religion, which means like if you're an outsider and you want to check it out. A person is bothering you. You need a map. You would like to make someone a God bothering state in God bothering station talk about your religion. You would like your religion's holiday to be shown on the screen in the like on the top of the I top thought there would be more about the screen. You only really talk about the screen when you show that, that black page with yeah. black circles on it. Yeah. You are starting a cult. So if you're starting a cult, and then you go tell them. So like, so well, what's the idea of the screen? The idea of the screen is to announce when it's a holiday. It's on top of the building, right? It's yes, big, it's at the very top of the building. Big light display. So is the control center. Control, tra the control center is kind of like in the set. It, like inside the area where it's like the so it was like the area that's the control center the outside is covered with the light bulb stuff and so if you're walking down the street and you looked up what would you see on a typical day um well on a day that's not a holiday you would see there wouldn't be any lights on but on a day where there is a holiday you'd see a random you'd see a symbol that represents that holiday because it's a as here if you would like to your religious holiday to be shown on the black screen you go alert the info desk, dun, 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 info desk and they'll show it on the screen and so it's like but if you don't alert, if you don't alert the the dun 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 dun, dun, dun info desk, then then you won't, then they won't show it because they're not gonna like search the computer for every single holiday in the entire world. Every day it's on. Every time it's at. That would just go. Does this building have a name? Um, it's called the Religious Center World something, something, something. And if you worked in this building, which part of the building would you work in? Um, one of three places. You wouldn't work at the, 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 the info desk. You would either work at... Dun, 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 no, not, it, not me, you. Where would you work? Oh, I would work dun, 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 at the info desk. I guess.